Welcome everybody to the Scientix2 webinar series. I'm Viola Timsi and I'm a member of the Scientix team here at European Schoolnet and I moderated this session. With me today there is my colleague Victor Perez and we will provide technical support through the chat. You can see him with the Scientix account. Our presenter for this session is Tatiana Golic, Scientix ambassador and teacher of math and physics and she will talk about mobile application for STEM education. The presentation will last about 40 minutes and after that we will dedicate about 20 minutes to your question and suggestion. In case you encounter any technical problem during the presentation, please write to Victor, the scientist account in the chat and he will support you through it. You can also use the chat during the talk if you like to share comments, suggestions with the other participants, with us and to post questions for the final session. To share with everybody, please select the option everyone in the menu. And now I will leave the floor to Tatiana. Welcome and thank you for being here. Hello, first I want to thank you for joining me today on this webinar. Um, the tablets or other mo mobile devices are very popular as we know all. It's uh, easily available and also cheap. Shouldn't we use them in the classroom? Uh, in photo, you can see the use of mobile devices in my uh, physics lessons. As you can see, the pupils uh, have, uh, uh, have used mobile devices. It's an ASUS tablet and also textbooks and writes the answers uh, with known the answers in the notebooks. So um, in uh, using mobile devices, uh, I think that um, our teaching become more interesting and knowledge obtain more firm. Now uh, a few questions and I will try to answer them. Who can use these mobile devices? I think teachers for themselves and also pupils for themselves and for, uh, for of course, for learning. Uh, when, anytime and where in the school, in the classroom or in the field trips or also home alone or with the parents. Uh, some apps can be used online, some, some apps can be used also offline and uh, of course for more, uh, they can be used for uh, verification of preliminary knowledge, for explanation or research work uh, with a new substance, new matter, for uh, assimilating new knowledge and also for assessment. But of course, it's also uh, one reason it's just for fun. And uh, the knowledge, uh, you know, if we can uh, um, use games in our teaching, can be even more successful. Well, let's go for the first app. It's a math section. I uh, choose uh, some STEAM subjects and I learn, uh, as uh, Viola said, math and physics, so first let me start with math. This math duel or math fight is an app for its kind of game and um, we can adjust uh, how difficult it is, how these uh, numbers are difficult. We can use uh, easy, medium, hard or expert level. Uh, we can also uh, this um, all this um, uh, uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division uh, in uh, these levels, and uh, it's, it's the game for two. They are com competing uh, one of, uh, against the other, and uh, of course, um, if the answer is okay, uh, it got, they got uh, one point. Uh, the game is over when someone reached 10 points. Um, they like to play very much this, but uh, they also need some uh, some supervising because uh, when they start this game, they are very serious, but if they can see that if they miss the answer, 
you can choose the, another one. So they start to to put all three uh, um, numbers at the same time. So a bit of time is quite good. But uh, it's also useful if you uh, have one to one for maybe for some kind of hours. Uh, you can use it uh, by yourself with one children and my child. Next um, is uh, my sleep calculator. I know that some of you or most of you already know it. It's easy uh, for you to write down the numbers uh, on the screen and after you uh, put the finger away, the results came up. Uh, it's not just for simple operation, it's also, you can use also with uh, square roots and potentials and uh, fractions and everything else. So I think it's very useful, especially for those kids who have uh, mathematical uh, problems uh, with, uh, and uh, problems with numbers. And next. Uh, application is uh, um, is a fraction calculator. Uh, this one is for free. It's uh, just basic operations, uh, and uh, um, it's very simple for use. And as a result, you can get a fraction or decimal number. So uh, I think it's also use, very useful for this kind of. I use it. Uh, classes when we learn, when we start to learn fraction, or later when we use a um, kind of a calculation uh, for those kids who have problems, or just to check answers. And uh, um, as, uh, as uh, for, from my experience, it's very, uh, very good, and uh, the pupils can use it after they do it in their notebooks. So, um, for, for me, it's very good. Then, um, it's a bit uh, upper level. It's uh, photomat or automat for i uh, phones or iPads. Uh, and uh, you just read the, the, the equation with, uh, with just, you just scan it with the, with the, phone, with the camera, and the solution is there. So it's also useful because you can see the steps, um, um, at least at also maths for sure. So um, the problem is that maybe in some cases this um, this uh, photo mat is a problem with the camera of the tablet. If the camera is not very good. Uh, you should have problem, but in any case, you can write it down. You can have the, the, the keyboard and you can put the on it. So it's uh, also camera very useful. Uh, the, the last uh, tool for math class, uh, for, for my choice, is uh, math graph. It's one of many applications for uh, writing down this, uh, uh, the graphs. Uh, I use it because we have it in our curriculum just in our function. Uh, we use it for investigate uh, the meaning of a constant or the meaning of a coefficient of the independent value, as you can see here in this, uh, this uh, screenshot. Uh, the different the different um, number uh, before independent value, the different angle of this uh, graph. Um, but it's uh, one thing you can also choose the numerical uh, version, as you can see down. So um, you just select the the top uh, on the top line. What do you want? Graph or uh, a table or just uh, just to write down the these equations. So now a bit of uh, biology. Um, let's. Oh, okay. I, I I see that the web page here is not right. I will correct it later. So this uh, app is about identification tools. 
This is a project. Um, this is the result of the SIIP project, which uh, was going on in Slovenia and Italy. Uh, maybe some other country I, I really don't know, but and this is the key to uh, define um, the identification organized organisms. So um, this one is for coastal area, uh, sorted area of the coast. So you choose, you just choose uh, with the picture uh, and go uh, further to define the, the organisms. You can see here that um, this is in English. There are various keys uh, in, in, in Slovenian and also in the Italian language available. If anybody wants to, to use this, I uh, guess you should go to the, to the web page of this Simple, you can just uh, put this SIIT project in your uh, web browser and you will find this product and uh, contact uh, some of the, the uh, founders of this project and they will give you the tool to change these uh, organisms uh, very simple in these keys. Um, these keys are also available not just only as an app, but uh, also as a web page a tool and also uh, you can have a printed version. With this app you can go on the field and you can use it offline uh, and it's a very nice tool. Uh, then there is another biology uh, app which is a kind of um, augmented reality. So you can download it from this page down here. Uh, you can download it the pages with the pictures. For free version, I'm sure that you can do with a human body and others. I'm not sure, but uh, there uh, on this page you can find also teaching plans for the for the pictures and um, teacher's testimonies. So uh, there are ma many things to find on this page. It's not just simple an app. Uh, and um, when you put your camera on this, uh, uh, on this uh, uh, piece of um, PDF file, uh, you will uh, get the um, the 3D version of human body, and you can choose, as you can see, nervous, muscular, respiratory system, and other things, uh, as you can see down on the screenshots of these apps. Um, and I think the this uh, is very interesting for the for the pupils, uh, for the students, and uh, they can investigate by their own. Uh, human body. Then uh, the similar app for chemistry uh, from the same author. Uh, also here you can see the the this uh, uh, lesson plans. Uh, they are available for primary, secondary, and even for high uh, school level. And um, in uh, this. Uh, in this web page, you can also find a kind of uh, papers with uh, with these um, squares. Uh, you put it out like if you can see my camera. I think it's it's visible that you can uh, you can get a piece of paper and then uh, you can get uh, you can put together a uh, um, uh, uh, well. A box, and uh, there are several um, symbols on these uh, squares. And after you put the, the two squares together, two uh, boxes together, you find out what uh, you know, what kind of reason is uh, going going on between these two uh, things. So. Um, um, uh, this is 
also a possibility that the pupils can investigate elements uh, by themselves because they can, uh, on, on this augmented reality, they can see the orbit, the mass of, the, of these elements and many other things. And also they can try if uh, they can get something if they put these two together. So uh, I think it's very, um, very interesting learning. Uh, another part of uh, apps are astronomy, physics uh, um, applications. For sure, many of you are familiar with Google Maps, and there is also Google Sky Map. Um, it's so for a very night, a very a beautiful night, you can uh, you can so you can find out by yourself with which stars are you looking at, which constellations you are looking, but if you know the name and, um, for instance, the planet, uh, if you are looking at them, you can share, uh, you, you can uh, uh, search uh, them with, uh, with a browser and you get this uh, circle with an arrow and uh, they are pointing you to uh, to the star or to the planet you want to find. Um, there are many options for, um, for settings. Uh, one of them is the location, very important because it's important uh, to, to, to know where where are you. Uh, and uh, you can do that by Wi-Fi uh, automatically, uh, or you can do it by by uh, yourself. Uh, and for that, you have to know your location. Later, I will show you one uh, app which uh, gives you this opportunity. Uh, uh, next, astronomical. A uh, very, very good app, for my opinion, is um, Solar System. Solar System. Uh, it's available in four languages. Uh, you can have it in uh, in um, in many. Uh, you can, you have there many options. You can find. You can get them of the planets, of the moons, you can get the orbits, uh, you, can, uh, you can go to a different, uh, virtually of course, you can move to a different planet and you can see how uh, the Earth looks from uh, that planet or the Sun, how big is it, how far is it, and so, and like that. Of course, uh, as I said before, you can have uh, data of the planets and comparisons uh, of uh, this of all these objects in our solar system, uh, the, the how big they are, you can find out uh, from asteroids to moons, planets. So uh, it's uh, very useful for uh, research work of our students. Uh, uh, so. Uh, next, this one is uh, the app Physics of the Moon. It's a simple app, but uh, with the date and the hour, you can you can see how much moon is visible, uh, what percent is illuminated, and how far away it is. And it's changed constantly, so it's it's really uh, really interesting for pupils, and um, they can see that. Uh, the moon is always coming uh, to Earth or uh, going uh, away from it. Uh, so you can uh, discuss with the pupils about this. Um, and uh, of course, it's very important for observation if you have some uh, astronomical observations with the with the pupils, so you can you can plan it because you can see. It. This one, Moon Atlas 3D, is also very good for observation, especially the Moon, because 
you can find all the names of the craters and the seas in the in the moon, and also you can search them by the names, as you can see on this um, right uh, picture. Um, so the next section uh, is uh, meters or measuring instruments. I uh, told you before that uh, it's very important our location. Here is a uh, sensor sense um, application this, uh, with uh, down uh, pictures down. You can see that um, they can show us what kind of sensors our uh, our um, tablet have. Um, here, this one, this Asus uh, one, have a battery. How many? How percentage of usage of battery? The temperature of the battery and location. You can see the uh, exact location, and you can use it uh, for uh, Google SkyMap. Then the networks about acceleration. Uh, you can you can see uh, you can find out uh, what what uh, in which direction you move x y or z and um, how uh, how quickly you can directly uh, can um, answer maybe for some physical experiments physics you can use it uh, also I didn't try yet but <laughs> maybe some of you did. And also is included sound meter. You see, um, at the time was 44 decibels, uh, the sound. But you can have sound meter uh, also um, that you can uh, that um, you can write the graph as this one on the picture on the top, right? So uh, for how for some uh, some time you can do this uh, register and you can show to the pupils uh, how loud they are for instance uh, others uh, other meters angle meter is very useful for um, uh, this one uh, is just for uh, measuring angle with the uh, edge of tablet but there are some others available uh, and uh, you can use them to measure angle in physics experiments for instance in in the um, in art. Uh, this photo ruler and smart distance they are so so uh, not just no, no no i don't i don't use them for for real measurements but uh, maybe some of you have a kind of experiment uh, experience or something uh, like like this. Then, then it's uh, a part of uh, of these apps uh, which are using for uh, assessment or for feedback uh, during the during the hours, and uh, I'm sure that some of them are very uh, known by people. Uh, there are some problems with, uh, with there have been problems with Zonga. It was for free, but for some reason, uh, for some time. Um, was uh, was not um, the problem with the money uh, of the founder, so he he sent us a mail that it won't be available anymore. But it's very good because uh, you can it, it works like a game. Uh, it's also uh, the children can uh, make the quizzes by themselves. Uh, they can put the the, uh, the um, uh, question. In and in uh, uh, and they can um, answer then the, the, the quizzes and at the end of the quiz if it's okay uh, if all the questions are okay uh, he can play a simple game. Kahoot is also well known tool uh, and. Uh, 
students uh, and uh, soccer team is one of the tools uh, I also use uh, used the time. Um, there are two uh, soccer team for students and for teachers. Uh, for teachers, uh, you can uh, build up in class. You can put these uh, games and everything. Um, and uh, uh, students are just for having uh, for, for putting the the number of the quiz and then the students uh, just answering all these things, uh, all the questions. Uh, the problem with all the all these three Zondel, Kahoot, and Socrates is that every pupil have have have. have have to have their own device. Uh, that might be a problem. For instance, in our school, we just, for a moment, we have just 15 tablets, so it's not possible to use it. But, of course, it's possibility that they, they use their own devices. But then there is another problem with uh, connections. You know that Wi-Fi is uh, limited and they have limited connection, at least in our school. And if, the, if, if it's free, then all the pupils, or a lot of pupils, is on. And when you need it, you cannot uh, put them on the Wi-Fi. So it's a problem. There here is another uh, tool, another app I use recently. It's Blickers. It's very it's very good uh, tool because they don't need their own devices. Uh, let me talk about this for here. You can see uh, they have a web page, uh, and uh, you can just scan uh, with your mobile or your uh, tablet um, QR codes or kind of QR codes, uh, everything for, uh, everything for, um, you can scan it from the, from the pupils. So uh, everybody has their, their own uh, card. Uh, I, I uh, in a web page, you can arrange your pupils uh, by the classes, and everybody has their own number. And then you can see these uh, these uh, numbers uh, changing to the to the names uh, on the screen. Uh, I can show you this. You see, on the uh, on the top right picture is a library with the questions. You choose what questions you will have for that hour, and uh, later. When you click on, it appears also on LCD screen. You have, if you have, uh, if you open the clickers in uh, in your uh, computer in the cloud connected with LCD screen, then you can you can see uh, no you but the pupils can see the question uh, on the screen. Of course, A, B, C, D are not red and green. We mean that, that this is correct. And uh, uh, after you, they can see the question, and they can uh, pick, they can pick up the, this uh, square, and uh, it, met, it, it is important how they turn it. Sometimes A is on the top, B, C, or D, and uh, the 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 um, uh, mobile device uh, can read this. Which tool you can uh, you it, this is the picture uh, of the screen you have it you have correct answers and immediate answers here you have the you can, you can see the names of the pupils and uh, it, when the the pupil uh, when the pupil answer um, when the tablet scan the answer it appears uh, the answer. Immediately, so you can see this. Uh, you can see the answers, the correct answers, and the wrong answers. So you can 
you can uh, do a part of a formative assessment so you can practice this uh, in um, during the hour depending on uh, how um, how good they are uh, they can you can uh, control your um, your lecture um, so next uh, next apps are more for use for you for you for using it. I'm sure that uh, many of you have scanners a scanner in at home or at school, but it's it's possible to to use your phone your app your tablet as um, cam cam scanner uh, as a scan. So you know, meaning that you just make a photo of your of the screen, and then with these blue uh, blue uh, blue edges, you decide what kind. If you want uh, to have a text or you want to have a picture, and you can save it as PDF file or a photo file, and then uh, you can share it with uh, with. Um, uh, on your, you can put it on your mail or even in Google Drive or other uh, other uh, kind of sharing instruments you have. So it's very useful. Then there is another uh, another thing. Uh, it's Rasma. This is my favorite. Until I first saw it uh, from Tulia Rusic. One of scientists. So uh, she gave us a talk about this on one of the uh, workshops uh, with exchange and I like it very much. You can make your textbooks or your paperwork um, more um, more interesting. Uh, you can give them uh, some content. For instance, change image in. Uh, into um, and into web page into quiz maybe so uh, just that is you can you have to follow your uh, you have to follow your if you if the, if the pupils want to see this uh, what you made you have they have to follow your account so um, uh, here uh, at the bottom of this, uh, of this, you can see uh, free YouTube um, videos uh, with I made some guides uh, for one uh, for one conference, so for scientific conference. So you can use it also because there is no no. Um, yes. Um, excuse me. Uh, we may have some problem with your mic. Really. We have. Uh, we are hearing uh, your voice breaking a little. Okay, I will turn my camera on. Maybe helpful. Thank you very much. Okay, it's better now. Yeah, it seems it works fine now. Thank you very okay. much. Okay, okay. Sorry Thank for you. interrupting. No, no, it's it's not. Uh, it's nothing. Uh, so later you will get the link to this uh, PPT. So uh, there will. To the link, but any of these apps, or almost all of them, they you, if you ha, if you go to YouTube, you can uh, the way to use it. But you can use also this one, uh, and of course there are many many more. Uh, with this I'm finished, but I was I want to show you uh, something else also. Uh, I will screen my share my my screen now. I hope it will work. It, you never know with these technical things, but maybe you will see uh, this. Um, no, no. Okay. Uh, this uh, is connection. My tablet is connected now with Mobilen. It's one uh, app. You you have to put it on uh, this. Uh, you can see it here. This, this time, and uh, you have to uh, put it on your tablet and also your computer. 
it could be useful also to use it in the classroom to show the, the pupils how to use uh, some apps, for instance. Now I will show you, uh, I will show you uh, some of these things, maybe uh, my script calculator. I hope it will appear to you and I won't be too, um, too quick for this. For instance, very simple, you can use your finger, but you can add, for instance, square root. You can also uh, add, uh, uh, okay, this one, okay, yeah. you can see, it's very useful. So uh, you can you can see you can do this uh, by your own, uh, and uh, maybe for math fraction uh, fraction calculator. I hope you can see it. That I'm not too quick with this, all these connections. Uh, this uh, tablet is connected with my computer um, uh, by Wi-Fi in my house, so it's it's not. Uh, in, you can do it, okay, like this, for instance, and uh, you can have it So, like this. And I want to show you this one, anatomy, uh, with, uh, I hope it will, it will take some time to, to Correct, connect, but I hope we have time. Yes, yes, okay. So um, the time is going to to this uh, um, my this tablet is not so quick, so that's the problem with all this. So now I will try to to have my, the best slide for this. Okay, you can see now the body, and uh, you, we can see, we can go, I can turn this, and uh, uh, turn the muscular off, the respiratory off, the, for instance, you can change even sex if you want, gastro, put it on, and you can go on the side, to see better, closer, I think you can see this, and it's very interesting, I think. You can imagine the pupils uh, using this and to to teach about uh, about this. You can uh, now you can uh, turn, for instance, uh, many things off, and uh, you can just Okay, you can see just the skeleton, and it's uh, very good, it's 3D. Uh, okay, and another app I will show you is, um, now is a chemistry, these cubes. It will take again sometimes to, um, to connect and to, to open this. Elements 4D and to those. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's start it. Here we have, for instance, primary and was there. You can see sodium, and you can see chloride, and when you put it together, you can get natrium chloride. You can see that it's common salt, we have it. And uh, at the bottom, see also the reaction. I think it's it's perfect app for for students to play or to, to, to learn about this. Uh, here is, oh, let me see if you can see it. Oh, it's very, 
function. And if we put together, we can get water. And you can also see the water in and the reaction. So I think it's very nice. And uh, one last thing I want to show you is Rana. Uh, here I have uh, my textbook. That we wait for some time. Um, oh, what is going on? Actually, okay. And uh, now I have here the picture. And this is coming. Uh, Upside down, I don't know why. <laughs> Hope you can see it. Yeah, I think it's upside down. Lawrence, the, the video, because uh, the text is about buoyancy and floating and diving. And uh, you can put the on this picture video. You can see this. Okay. Uh, okay, maybe if uh, if we have time, I can show you also the screen on the clickers of the clickers. You see, here are the classes. I have four classes here for physics, and uh, for instance, uh, in the in the brackets, you can see image. That means that this uh, this question have the image. When you click it on, when I click it on, in this classroom I have this uh, kit. Of course, I don't have any uh, any kit now, but I have I have uh, prepared uh, um, one two squares. It was so uh, two, can you can see that one. Uh, the first one, the red one, and the green one, the red one is wrong, and the green one is okay. When I click it, okay, we can see the results. Others are not, uh, were not connected, others were not, not answering yet. And of course, we can, we can see, we can see results um, on the history. For instance, how how men uh, how they answering uh, these questions and uh, for this for this reason we can do more uh, about this topic for instance uh, we can also see uh, who who answered it okay and who who did it. so uh, we have a clear view of knowledge of our pupils with this kind of Yes. So uh, this could be this should be everything from me now, and now I'm ready for questions. Thank you, Tatiana, very much. And please feel free to post your question in the chat, and we will read them. And in the meanwhile, I can say that there was an impressive participation in the chat already. Um, I will go through some of the comments. I, <laughs> yeah. I can go through some comments and suggestions. So, and please apologies in advance if I miss some messages because it was really um, very much uh, rich. So, Ilse shared with us some apps, for example, periodic table quiz for chemistry, chemistry, and also she shared her appreciation for some of the apps you presented, such as Anatomy, 4D, MapSite, and also she shared uh, an app called, actually, a software online, application online called Pearl Tree to create a repository for apps. So, basically, you can collect and organize them. <laughs> Then there were several applications also for my script calculator and time scanner. Mm -hmm. uh, then Drach, 
Uh, it's a nickname, so I'm not sure if I'm reading it correctly. Uh, they suggested a repository called Kids App Collective, and basically it requires to sign up, and you can then uh, receive a link with a free resource package every month. Magdalena also shared about an app for Fraction. Uh, Victor, my colleague, um, one suggestion from Jose Luis, uh, shared the app called Arbol App that it can be found also on the Scientix repository to identify wild plants. And then mm -hmm. really uh, share a comment about Xiaomi, they're saying that they are very user-friendly, that the measurement depends on the address, so it's also important to compare yeah. results from different devices. And Elil, she shared two apps, three apps actually, one for particle physics called Particle Adventurer, Another one is a whiteboard uh, uh, as a teaching tool called Explain Everything. And finally, a planner for teacher called Eidosio, I think. <laughs> Another app was shared by Silvana was for, for anatomy was Visible Body. And <laughs> finally, we have two other uh, suggestions for astronomy uh, from Elisabetta, uh, an app called Star Walk. Uh, that I think is in Italian, and our science regions body. We will anyway collect all these uh, inf information and all these suggestions, and we can share with the participant and with you, Tatiana, mm. after the Great. webinar. Yeah. And we also have some questions. I can go with the questions. So, Rachel, uh, almost at the beginning, asked, uh, about the age of the students these apps are appropriate for? Uh, the age of the students, I, I teach at the, uh, the, the 14 and 15 years old uh, students, uh, but uh, we use it also earlier uh, at age 10 or 12, but uh, it could be used also in lower, uh, at least some of them. But as you can see, some of them are uh, also for older kids. It depends how you use it. But uh, now, uh, this year, uh, 13, 14, 15 years old students, physics and math. Thank you. Um, another question by Ilze also was about if you may know more resources about uh, where to find more research about Erasma? Uh, you can go and no, I don't know. There is a page of Erasma. You can you can build your own aura uh, on a web page. It's uh, very good. You can you can uh, there you will you will find out uh, how to do it on, on my video tutorials. Uh, but uh, for resources, no, you have to follow, especially you have to follow the user. I was just in contact, just, just yesterday I received a mail from Orasma team and I asked them if I can uh, make my hours uh, completely, uh, completely public, but they said no, because it's payable. I know that if you have a RASMA and you try an hour with a 20 uh, euro bill, you will uh, get music, uh, uh, European uh, uh, anthem, and you will see uh, the, the video on it. Uh, but uh, else, uh, for your own use, you can have, I don't know, for now, I didn't reach the top how many of our RASMAs, but it can be, uh, it can be. Uh, uh, public, so you you have to find out uh, the user used it already and make it and for. So yeah, thank you very much. Maybe more resources will come. Yeah. Um, so we have uh, a couple of questions already. Magdalena asked a uh, technical question about um, Mobizen app, if I say correctly. Ask, she asked if we can share uh, videos from the camera tablet on the computer. Uh, you know, if right? you have tablet, uh, from tablet you can, you can uh, do everything. What, what you do on the tablet you can see on the screen of the computer. Uh, 
Uh, I think that it's also possible to make videos, but you have to test it uh, on your own. I have uh, some problems. I, I, I tried several of this for having picture uh, from the from the tablet to the screen, and this one uh, was uh, the best for me. It's possible to have it on uh, on a wire, or it's possible to have it by Wi-Fi. Uh, more, I can't answer. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> and there are uh, it, also many other. Team Viewer. Team Viewer is also one of these tools to to share screens, but I couldn't make uh, the the connection between. Uh, yes, com I can do computer. Uh, I can have my computer on my tablet, but not tablet on computer. That one. I couldn't get it. I don't know. Maybe I missed something. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. The participants are sharing some suggestion about these uh, technical aspects also on on the oh. chat, uh, so we can have a recap after the webinar. If there may be some uh, suggestion which are useful also related to the Mobizen screen sharing, and I see some. Uh, they are suggesting about using speaker attached to your tablet with the Bluetooth and, and many other technical suggestions. Yeah. And another question uh, was general, more general about I think by Katarzyna, um, if you know other application for R signs. We had already the suggestion shared for by another participant. Uh, for what kind of signs? Uh, sorry, hair signs, hair signs. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, it's, uh, it's so much help. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I imagine. Some of them. Some of them are I already used, yes. Uh, just another question from by Beata. Uh, she's asking about uh, um, real physics measurement. Um, well, this can be a question. Yes, um, I, well, for really for for real measurements, I don't think it's very uh, it's very good. Uh, maybe sound and maybe uh, light meter because you have it also light meters. Uh, maybe that is, but uh, for distance, sure no. Yes, for acceleration. Yes, for um, let me say a geographical uh, position. Some some things that they are quite good, but uh, for physics, don't think so. <laughs> That's my opinion. Maybe I am wrong. Uh, thank you again. I'm checking now if we have any other question. Please, um, we still have about. Five ten minutes. And if anyone else would like to ask a question to Tatiana, uh, in the meanwhile, I can tell there was another interesting link shared by Tetsa. I hope I am reading the name correctly. Um, is a link where to find the many top applications for astronomy for iPhone, and we will of course include it in our summary. Well, um... For I, it's uh, quite. Uh, I have just iPhone. I don't have iPad, so I don't use it much. Yeah, the link is called Top Astronomy Application for iPhone, and uh, mm -hmm. we can then share with uh, everyone again. Uh, and of course, the many uh, sharing um, and the appreciation for the talk and for the webinar and for the very interesting content. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> I'm glad you like it, <laughs> and uh, I'm sure that it's possible uh, to add a lot of different apps and use them uh, very useful. But you know, it's uh, really a time uh, a time to find out to have them, and it that will come. Um, a repository of these uh, apps, it will be very good. Yeah, there were a few links with the repository, so we will share them. Um, some few comments more. 
um, from Jose Luis, I think. Um, he shared another app called Color Grab, where you can instantly analyze uh, about uh, RGB colors on screens. Great. Right. Yeah, and some more links also, and play on Google Play website. Right. And there are many more. I apologize in advance if we miss some of the yeah. comments or links, but uh, everything will be included in the follow-up email with the list. Okay. Nice. Um, thank you very much, Tatiana. If you have any final remark or suggestion for, for our participants. Um, just for now, for you can uh, you can uh, you can have this link, and here you will find this uh, PT of mine with this apps and uh, with all these uh, things I show. You. Thank you very much. I will um, include the link uh, to the presentation in the following up email, so yeah. it will be available there as well. We have mm -hmm. still a couple of minutes for... Here you have my mail. If somebody wants to share something directly with me or uh, any, any suggestions, uh, you, can, uh, you can use it, of course. For Thank you. Round, it's just Tatiana Guli <laughs> without uh, dots in between. <laughs> Thank you very much, Tatiana. Yeah. So thank you everyone uh, for yep. everyone. Yeah. We had a, a throwback with my microphone. I'm using uh, my colleague Victor with the Scientix account. My name is still Viola. So yeah. I just wanted to thank everyone for participating in the session today on behalf of the yeah, SchoolNet, Scientix, me, and, and my colleague here. And I hope to see you online again in one of the coming webinars of the Scientix series. And the next talk will be on 12 November, and it will be about programming and coding uh, in physics classes. So if you are interested, uh, the, all the information are available on the Scientic website, as usual, and I will post the link in the chat as well. And thank you again, and until next time. And thank you, Tatiana. Thank you very much, and uh, to online again. <laughs>